This is Joel. He's my mate. I'm also one of his carers. Joel has been living with an acquired brain injury since he was three years old. He was getting treated for a gastrointestinal infection when he suffered a complication of rehydration which flooded his brain. Since then, Joel has needed 24-hour care as a result of his injury. He is also on many different forms of medication and is intensely dependent on others for basic human needs. Except for being a joker. <laughs> that he can do all by himself. Over the years, his family has been pivotal to his support and survival. In particular, his mum and primary carer, Coralie, is a scientist, nurse and doctor in her own right. She is always on the lookout for ways to improve Joel's life. It was this Welcome news story, One Fateful Day, that sparked her interest. And the extraordinary new stroke therapy transforming lives. And after much research into the controversial treatment, she knew it was the treatment Joel had to have. So she remortgaged her house to pay for the treatment, flights and accommodation for Joel and family in LA. So off they went to see Dr. Tobinick, who specialises in this new form of treatment. Put simply, the treatment is an injection designed to neutralise the high levels of TNF responsible for creating inflammation in the brain. Dr. Tobinick has found a method of administration of the drug which bypasses the blood-brain barrier, which then improves many aspects of functioning for patients who have suffered strokes or brain injury. At the clinic, Joel and his family await this bold and risky step into the unknown. And this is where it gets exciting. the things he could never do before, like walking, putting on his shoes and feeding himself by hand. He is transformed. You feel different? More relaxed? More relaxed? Yeah. Yes, I heard that. More Post-treatment? Joel and his family are blown away by his improvements. But back home, the future is bleak for many other Australians like him if this treatment doesn't become readily available because family members like Coralie can't really remortgage their house a second time despite them trying. When improvements are this good after one course of treatment, it begs the question, what could it do for Joel or for any of us on an elongated, government-funded basis. This is a story of my client and my good mate Joel, who was lucky enough to be given an opportunity to improve his life through the help of his family and friends. This is a much-needed chance for others to get the same treatment to help improve their lives. We want Joel to be an example of how this treatment and its awareness can make long-term change a reality. Only through government acknowledgement and funding can a significant transformation like Joel's become a reality for people to further improve their quality of life. But funding can't happen without generous people who are committed to change. This is why having scientific data from a clinical trial is important in helping make this treatment available in Australia and other parts of the world to treat people who have either had a brain injury or stroke. 
That's why Joel's family and other community members have set up the charity Stroke Recovery Trial Fund to raise money for an already approved clinical trial for stroke patients at Griffiths University School of Medicine. All they need now is funding, and that's where you can help. Please go to the website at the bottom of the screen to make your tax-deductible donation and then follow the progress of this life-changing treatment on Facebook and Twitter. We ask anyone that sees this video to please share this message widely with all your contacts, particularly those who have loved ones affected by brain injury or stroke. Let's make Joel's success story a feasible reality for thousands of other people who deserve the right to a better life.